Good morning or good afternoon. Today we'll be watching a Quizette video on Quizette 609. Please make sure you write your last name, comma your first name, today's date, and your class color. Number one says convert negative four-fifths into a decimal. Now I remind you that the division symbol, make sure you write this down, those dots represent numbers. So if you fill those dots with numbers, it just looks like a fraction. So that's another way to reinforce that fractions mean division. So in this case, we have negative four or negative, <coughs> excuse me, uh, five, uh, four divided by negative five. That negative that you see in front could either go to the four or it can go to the five. You just can only write it once. So if I have negative four divided by five, I would write it like this. Four divided by five. And remember that it's a negative, and when you have a negative there, one negative, it's going to stay there. So I have a negative as my, my negative is going to end, my answer is going to end up being negative anyways. So I'm going to put the negative on the top where I'm going to circle my, or box my decimal. So now let's worry about how many times five goes into four. And five doesn't fit into four evenly, so we can already put zero. And then let's put a decimal. And then now let's ask ourselves, how many times does 5 fit into 40? So you can count by multiples of 5. You can also look at your multiplication chart if you're ever doing this. Now I, I'm just going to count by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And now I know, because I'm counting with my fingers, 5 times 8 is 40. So what you would do is you'd put 8 on top. And then ask yourself, 5 times 8 is 40. And actually, I'm done, because 40 minus 40 is 0. So the decimal, make sure you write this, the decimal equivalent to negative 4 fifths is equivalent to negative 0 0.8. So these two numbers are the same, except one is a fraction and one is a decimal of the fraction. Now, let's say they were asking you to convert negative 0 0.8 into a fraction, because this is going to come up. So I'm going to do this on the side right here. You can write a little box. Um, you could convert this into a fraction by thinking, okay, 8 is in the tenths place, so I would write negative 8 over 10. And then if you reduce that, that equals to 4 fifths, negative 4 fifths, which is our original fraction. So that's another way you could double check it. But the answer here is what's boxed in red, negative 0 0.8. Number 2. Number two says, write 73 over 8 as a mixed number. So this, I would write, seven, remember the division symbol, this means numbers. That means numbers. So I have 73 divided by 8. You can also write 73 divided by 8. So 73 goes on the inside. 8 goes on the outside. Now you can count by 8 and see how many times it fits into 73. Or you can remember that 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 8 is 64. Maybe we can fit one more multiple. 8 times 9 is 72. So that's the closest one. So we would have 8 times 9, and 8 times 9 is 72. 73 minus 72 is 1, because that's just 0. So we have one left over, and that would be one over this divisor of eight. So the mixed number would be nine and one eighth. Number two, the second part says write 27 over four as a mixed number. So again, we have 27 divided by four. So we would have 27 divided by four. How many times does 4 fit into 27? It probably doesn't fit evenly, so let's think. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and again, I'm counting with my fingers. 24, 28, oh, looks like 28 is too much. So it's 4 times 6, and 4 times 6 is 24. 7 minus 4 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. So I have 3 fourths left over. So this written as a mixed number is 6 and 3 fourths. 6 and 3 fourths. Now Monday, number 3, now it's a word problem. 
It says, Mandy divided a 12-pound bag of sand into five equal parts. What is the weight of each pile? So now you have to, you have to make sure that your answer makes sense. Because some of you will probably think, okay, it's going to be 5 divided by 12. And some of you will just think, all right, 12 divided by 5. It could be either one of those answers. Now you have to think which one of those makes sense. She has a 12-pound bag that she's dividing into five equal parts. This one makes sense here because you have 12 divided by 5. If you had 5 divided by 12, you would have a very, very small number. And you don't need a very, very small number in this case. Each, each bag is clearly going to have more than one pound. This right here wouldn't be the correct one. You have to make sure it makes sense. So now we have 12 pounds divided up in by 5, 5 equal parts. So 5 goes into 12 how many times? 2, and that's 10. 12 minus 10 is 2. So we can either do this as a fraction or as a decimal. I want a decimal. If you need to, write it as a decimal. Okay? So I have 2 left over. So this is where I start my decimal process. Put a decimal next to the 2 and put a decimal next to the 12. Then you put a 0 and you bring it down. And how many times does 5 fit into 20? 4 times. 5 times 4 is 20 and then I'm done. So each, so what is the weight of each pile? Each, each pile is 2.4 pounds, or LBS, that means pounds, of sand. If you have any questions, raise your hand. I would like for you to complete Tuesday on your own. You're allowed to work with your group, but make sure that your group is on task. Thank you.